to our heat to Mother Nature showing her true colors on this first day of summer. These record-breaking temperatures have everyone looking for different ways to cool off. Carlos Correa is live at Aquatica in Chula Vista where many people are finding ways to beat the heat. Carlos. That's right. If you had to spend any time under the sun today, then you know exactly how hot it was. As a matter of fact, it's still hot out here at SeaWorld's Aquatica. And if I had my shorts on, I'd probably join the rest of these people in the water. Now, people all day have been finding creative ways to beat the heat, including visiting area beaches and water parks like this one just to stay cool. Did you update the SFT, James? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. At the San Diego National Weather Service, meteorologists are keeping a close eye on the recent heat wave passing through the county. It's very hot out there. It's dangerously hot out there. Over the weekend, the extreme weather shattered a number of records from Escondido and Ramona to Chula Vista. On the first day of summer, we saw blistering temperatures and forecasters say this is just the beginning. It's a little high for June. So June, typically people think of June gloom. So not as hot as this. Uh, this high that's occurring over the desert southwest is pretty, pretty strong for this time of year. The National Weather Service predicts above normal high temperatures for the rest of the summer season. Some of the hottest spots in California will be our deserts, valleys, and inland areas. It's not easy. I mean, I love camping, but in the city, it's not, it's not you, you, like a cup of tea or anything. It's really hard. Tammy is a homeless woman who often finds refuge at the library or under trees during extremely hot days. But now she's finding help at this mobile cooling center run by community volunteers. I tell you, it could save lives, honestly. Not only are people getting shade, but the group is also providing them free snacks and plenty of water. It's extremely important because dehydration can exacerbate any other kind of physical health conditions. And so we don't want people uh, having to go to the hospital just because they're dehydrated, which leads to other problems that they already have. People looking to beat the heat are flooding to area beaches, enjoying games on the sand, swimming in the water, and checking out the view. Visitors are also bringing their pets and making sure they're also comfortable in the heat. Breeze has definitely got a good breeze going right now, so that's keeping them cool. And I got uh, water in my left right here pocket. So we got water for them. We'll stop and maybe get them an ice cream, something like that. So we're definitely going to make sure he's hydrated and uh, keep him cool. Back live here at Aquatica where people are still waiting for that big wave that comes about every 10 minutes so people can stay cool. Now in the piece you saw that mobile cooling center, over the last two days volunteers have helped serve of more than 350 people and of course their pets. Reporting live in Chula Vista, I'm Carlos Correa, CW6 News. Thank you, Carlos. And that poor little puppy was wearing a Warriors shirt. <laughs> it's hot and he's sad because they lost. At least he's going to get an ice cream, right? Yeah. Uh, the company got